Hello, YouTube. We're doing some network testing in the great state of Florida. Here in the middle of, directly in the middle of Orlando. So, I want to show you what the networks look like for this uh, great area. A lot of people come here, vacation here, snowbirds come here. So, I want to be able to show what type of network offering you get when you come to this uh, this side of town. So, right now we're in smack dab in the middle of Orlando at City Hall. And in the middle, directly in the middle of the city, we have Verizon on the right, T-Mobile is on the left. So, if you're curious about where I am, right in the middle. Right now, uh, let's see. Verizon is working with Band 66 and N261. T-Mobile is running NR41 at 100 megahertz. And I know that they were carrier aggregating a while ago. So I, I peeped that before it, uh, it got kicked in. So I want to see what these networks are going to be holding up against. So let's find out. Give me Google. Google speed test. Now of course, millimeter wave is no slouch, as you can see. And Verizon is running only four carriers of millimeter wave where I've seen them all, I've seen them do eight carriers. So they're doing four 100 set blocks where when I'm in DC, they do eight 100 set blocks. So they put 800 megahertz on air here in Orlando. They're only doing 400 and getting 1.1 gigs. But the RSRP values are not bad for where I'm sitting at. So, is it a limitation? Is Verizon holding it back? Mm, I'm gonna say yes, because I've seen it get up to at least three gigs. Right now it's 1.1 gig down and 88 up. T-Mobile is doing 311 down and 71 up. So let's see. what speed test has to say about it. Verizon giving all the beans, pushing 1.7. So yes, they're holding it back with only four carriers. They're leaving on the table what they normally do about another 400 megahertz. Their normal deployment that I've seen has been eight, 800 megahertz. They're only doing 400 here. So T-Mobile was 359 down, 77 up. Verizon, 1.7 gigs down and 101 up. So we are obviously connected to millimeter wave giving us high um, uploads extremely high uploads so let's see what the how fast the network's going that's not going to count go to ESPN.com how snappy it is Verizon for the first one, the banner ad kicked in faster. Go to NFL.com. Okay, they're tied. I don't see any more ad, anything else popping up. Yep, they came in roughly about the same time. Last one. Go to CNN.com. T 
T-Mobile's lagging behind. So Verizon with millimeter wave is smoking. All right. So we're gonna do imperv. This is not just for speed. This is more also about efficiency. So we're gonna hit them at the same time. Three, two, one, go. Obviously Verizon got the speed. That is air apparent. Both of them are doing pretty high uploads. The web browsing test, moving them through those pretty fast. They're neck and neck, but Verizon obviously has the edge. Both on Zoom, just went to Wikipedia. Moving to the streaming test. Moving on to 720p. Now 1080p. Obviously Verizon is moving quicker through this. So 1.6 gigs down by 99 up, 85% browsing 94 percent streaming uh t-mobile 401 down and 87 up L looking for the browsing at 80 percent that should be better but it, 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 it it's room for improvement and the streaming at 89 percent now doing my own personal 4k test I want to see what it offers. T-Mobile has the edge a little bit. Now we're going to switch it directly to 4K. This should automatically benefit Verizon because it has a lot more throughput. Jump skip. Verizon. Do it again. T-Mobile. Let's do it one more time. Verizon. So Verizon got two of the three. Not bad. All right, last thing to do is to download directly over the network. Download directly over the network in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Wow. Is there a glitch? Let's see, that was a glitch. Is it the same one? Yes, it is. 888 meg. Do it one more time. All right, 12% to 12. T-Mobile got 29% to 15. Seventy-six percent to 20% T-Mobile. 
and 100% to 28. Verizon had had the edge, but it was a weird hiccup for a second. I had to restart it, but T-Mobile comes out with the win on this one. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'm looking forward to seeing what you might think. Directly center, city center, and, uh, right directly in the middle of Orlando. That's where we are. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one.